go. I think we're good. All right. Hello, folks. We are outside the uh, Atlanta Pin Show. This is 2024. Uh, this is the, oh, sorry, let me deal with my camera a little bit here. <laughs> we're kind of at the side entrance here of the Sonesta. You can see uh, there's the front entrance there. And then this little entrance right here will take you right into the Pin Show. Uh, you're up in your room right now? Oh, there's a, been some chat going on. Good, good. All right, can you all hear me okay? Oh, hello. <laughs> all right. All right, can you all hear me okay? I just want to test the audio here. I've got new, I've got new interview stuff, new, uh, like new stuff for this here channel. Yes, thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. How's the audio, though? That's what I need to know. chat. All good? Good. All right, so I have a this little wireless microphone. Isn't that fun? And then uh, I also have this microphone on a stick. Hello, hello. Um, that I will be able to get closer to uh, people who are uh, I'm talking to in the room. So that should be fun. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully it'll go awesome. Uh, and if it does, maybe I'll just get like one of those big foam things that goes over this. I can be like a newscaster. Uh, I was hoping to find one of the like long skinny ones like Bob Barker, but I haven't found one of those yet. So uh, one of these days maybe. But we're going to try this out and hopefully it'll sound awesome. So let's get into the pin show. Stop looking at me. Am I going to stick indeed? All right, let's go in here. So you will walk into this room. The door always sticks. And then this here is the registration table. So you will talk to those nice folks there. And you can, uh, yeah, it is a road. Yep. Uh, so talk to those nice folks there. And you'll get yourself a name tag and a wristband and all that jazz. Uh, and pay your money to get in. That will give you uh, access to this whole show. They have actually expanded the show a little bit this year. So uh, there's more, a little bit more to see. Hello. Um, folks have been warned that I'm coming around a little bit, so that'll be good. Uh, you come into this main hallway. You'll see dead ahead of us here are the Yaffa tables. These have uh, Delta and Paniter and uh, Diplomat and uh, Conklin and all that jazz. Uh, over here to the right-hand side is uh, the first ballroom. This has a lot of the like small makers and that sort of thing. And then across the hall on this side, um, over here, is another ballroom. There's Marty walking out of there. He's run away from the tables. He put the kids to work. And then down at the end of the hall there is the third ballroom. So we have three ballrooms, two kind of medium sized, one kind of larger. Um, not everybody is here yet today. Uh, Fridays are always a little bit um, slow to get folks in. Uh, just there's always some people that can't make it. There were snowstorms up north and all that. So you walk in here. No, you're fine. <laughs> Over here, we've got uh, Mark Backus immediately to your right. We've got uh, Carolina Pinco, some folks in the middle, Van S on the back wall. And then we have, they opened up this whole wall over here. There's G down there at the end uh, waving. And so we're going to work ourselves around this way, and then we'll go across the hall, and then we'll hit the big bell room, is my plan. So let's kind of start over here. So this is Mark Backus, uh, the nib grinder. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Good. He's over here grinding. You'll mostly see the top of his head probably, but definitely come over here. And you can sign up on this little sheet down here and uh, you know, get yourself a place in line. Always a good idea to get a nib grind. And there are lots of grinds here, which is cool. Uh, but uh, Mark is right there at the front. And we have Carolina Pinco over here. You can see the big sign up there. There they are, right there, right there, there you go. I know, they made the room really big. So like, how's it, how's it going, y'all? Yeah, it's going great. Good. Really enjoying it. Love the new room setup. It's a lot more open, a little bit more airy. Yep. So yeah, it's been awesome. Great. There's the pile of pens. Yes, chaos. I'll give you all a little, give you all a little pile of pens to her. Yeah. Is there like anything you're like, they need to see these things? Yeah. And then the new uh, convert pen. Um, yeah, tell us about this convert pen. So, built as a roller ball, G2 refill. So it's made for those that come to the shows that aren't always fountain pen. Enthusiasts. Enthusiasts, you know, yet. A spouse or a friend. Yet. yet. So it, this is going to convert them over. So same section. Just thread in fountain pen nib. And then it'll come with a either a, a already filled cartridge or an empty one. And now you have a cartridge fountain pen. 
And so it's universal, swap it out. Mm -hmm. And just have fun with it. Use Great. it however you see fit. Pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, so it'll be a G2 if you want it to be, and it'll be a fountain pen if you want it to be a fountain pen. Exactly. Yeah, right on. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You can find him at Carolina Pinco. Right there. Oh, I'm about to lose my microphone. I'm knocking it off with my hand. Oh, <laughs> hold on. We're still getting used to this new setup. There we go. I, say, I like the gimbal machine. Yeah, it's kind of cool. This is the new thing. I'm trying to like see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Apparently, I got to get it close to people. So. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. We'll see how it goes. It's good. To, it's good to know. Good to learn from. <laughs> I mean, you're the first person I've talked to. So, y'all, uh, y'all are my guinea pigs. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. How are they sounding, folks? Can I like say some things. Yeah. Are we Are we coming in clearly? Can you hear me? Maybe. Come buy things. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're, just, you're just over there like, buy things, buy things. Yes. And he's like, here, look at this pen, buy things. Uh, he also does have some inks over here for you to ink up your pens when you buy one, including uh, this this one right here, which you might recognize. We have, yeah, stop you know. by the table. It doesn't have to be a pen you buy. You can just come ink your pen up. Nice, nice. All right. It's just a little bit of quiet at that distance. Let me uh, step over here and mess with the microphone just a little bit. Thanks, y'all. Let me turn up the gain on this thing sound far away? All right, hold on. It's going to pause, but I will be right back. Okay. All right, hopefully we're back. It'll be a little bit louder now. I just turned up the gain a little bit. It's hard. To, it's the sort of thing I can't test until I get a big room full of people. So we're going to be learning as we go. Let me know. Um, Y'all can chime in about the audio and let me know if it needs to be a little bit louder. That's totally fine. Uh, lost two trees. Goodness. All right. Let's uh, flip this back around and go see some more people. All right. So... There, good shirt. Thanks. Yeah, I'm looking colorful. How's it going? What do you have here? Um, we have our skulls and unicorns. And then we have our little pouches and totes. And I have my own size of Carolina Fan Company. It's a unicorn autopsy series. Very cool. And, and I sell, sell like all these different types of unicorn series. I have like the unicorn hair, heart, bone. She's and handing you something to show. Very cool. These are only three of the seven that we have so far. Seven? Yeah. That's pretty seven. cool. And we have, uh, here are unicorns. This one got smushed. It's horrible. <laughs> and these are our skulls, which can double as a pen, pen holder. Oh, yeah, very nice. There we go. Right on. Well, thanks very much, Aiden. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, see you later. <laughs> Next up, we have uh, Mythic Pen Company here. Uh, Mythic Brad is over here chatting to somebody. <laughs> Again, show a couple of pins on his table here. You can find them. Uh, you can also find them as uh, as the Pen Turns. They have a podcast uh, with a, a few Pen Turners there. Oh, there's mugs. Look at all these merch. So here are some of Brad's pens here. There's these folks. These are some he was telling me about earlier on. Really cool looking, uh, kind of classic pens there. Look a little bit like a dual fold sort of situation. These. Hey, how's it going? It's you going. You want to talk to folks? I got pens. What kind, what, what kind of pens should people know about from you? Um, I would talk about that one a little bit more, but I'm saving it just a little bit. Okay. Um, All right. But what I what I like to show off is my my VS1 models over here, the ones that are made with the old cellulose acetate um, tube stock from what 30s, 40s, 50s, up to about by the 90s and stuff. Those are some of my favorite ones to make. If anybody's into vintage but modern, that's where to go. That's where you go. Let me find a card for you. Is this your stuff on the back? There yeah, you there go. we go. There's the Mythic Pens stuff. You can find him there. Thanks very much. And I'll Thanks. Out of his way, so, oh. you know, if you're and there's uh, there's Fig Boot here. He was uh, chatting as well. <laughs> We've got uh, JC over here in this corner, hiding behind these uh, big lamps. You can find him here. Continuing around the room, we have Van S pins here with uh, Lisa Van S and family, including a uh, whole bunch of inks. We've got some rickshaw stuff here. Some very nice 
uh, oh, she designs Nepal. That's fun. I haven't seen those before. Beautiful pin wraps, handcrafted in Nepal with authentic fabric. That's cool. These are very pretty. Uh, Ferris wheel press, Vinto, Warangul. Oh, what are these? Oh, journalized. There's some journalizes I need to get my hands on, so I gotta come back here later. Um, mm, they have the ones I want, so that's good. You're welcome. <laughs> we have here some, uh, some more rickshaw stuff. And a nice splattery sort of fabric there. Let's see. Lisa's over here chatting and talking to, or talking to folks behind the table there. We have here some modern pens and such. How's it going, Lisa? Good. What do you want to tell people about? Have you shown people your beautiful ink splattered shirt? Oh, of course they've seen my crazy ink, fla ink splattered shirt. I have to turn the tables. Today, guess what came out? Are you ready? These. These are new. Yeah, so I don't remember the names of these. One of them's like so Fiery one is and... Aqua Sky and that's... Wait, this is Fiery. F-I-E-R-Y. Yep. And they're all from that Kiwi. That's oh. what they, so they call the new, like the ones that came out, the Sparries and these, they call it Kiwi. Oh, really? K-E-W-I. Huh. So I'm probably saying it wrong. I haven't heard that. So, okay, cool. So oh, yeah. the, it, you, know, you guys may have seen this on different photos, but you can see that it's semi-translucent. Honestly, that's the only thing that really stands out. It's a black nib and a black nib. It yeah. just came out today. It's got a really nice sort of sat like satiny finish on these. And I, yeah, and I like this one. It's not like a bold red, and it's not a pink. I feel yeah. like it, don't you think it kind of falls in between? It does. Yeah, it's more. Yeah, I don't know what I'd call that color. It is kind of on the like almost like a dark carnation-y carnation kind of thing. Yeah, that's yeah. It's not ruby either. I was expecting it to be a little bit more red from the uh, from the pictures I saw. I'll show you this but. Sorry. <laughs> I gotta talk about ink. We gotta talk about ink. This, I have it here. It's from Ferris Wheel. They released this ink. That's cool. Emerald Gardens for the people who like the sheen and the shimmer. Uh, there's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I need to this. come. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I hadn't seen that one yet either. Um, right on. And then, of course, we all know about that. Yep. Yep. For Just sure. Right yeah. Do you have any? Do you have any of the the Kaveco piston ones yet? Nobody does. Nobody does. Oh, okay. They are not out yet. Is the answer. Okay. So they are technically released, but apparently they got stuck in. This is what I was told on Monday. They yeah. were stuck in customs, and uh, the customs guys didn't understand the Kaveco like. <laughs> Collectors need to have them. How dare they? I know, right? Right. <laughs> I mean, they have a talk with them. Or they're testing them all out. That's why they kept them. Oh, man. I mean, what do y'all think? I mean, I, I hope they're just going to give them to us. They cut open all my boxes of ink that got shipped to me and, like, cut through every all the tops of the boxes. Yeah. and. Isn't it nice? Yeah, no, it was great. So that's super I fun. I have a Galen collection from that. From oh, that kind no. Of experience, and they uh -huh. decided to leave it out in the rain, is what we think. Oh, no. Yeah. That's great. So are yeah. some of my Galen's are growing things before they gave it to us. Mm. Anyway, I've gone down the wash tape and sticker rabbit hole. Oh no. I know. I'm already in that hole. Oh gosh. Then You're we have to talk because uh -huh. I went down that hole and I'm like, uh oh. So I have all these, all these. I have more, but people can buy them. Oh, and then the new Midori got released, the new spring. Oh, the new spring ones. Look here. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with these. Yeah, I've got the I've got the ones from I guess fall or winter. Yeah. Yeah, this this version right here. Yes. Yeah. And then these just came out. Oh wow. Yeah, those are really I pretty. The pearl and this. Yeah, I'm all about it. yeah. I may be going into my yellow face. I mean, it's like the I think this yellow and pink together, like that yellow and that kind yeah. of Well, and the gold really pops in there. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah. And it's it very occurs cool. to me you're not just here to talk to me, so That's okay. <laughs> But there's also a tower of paper. You can yes, find some of this here. I quit bringing like what I call standard traditional fare to a show mm -hmm. because I don't come to a show myself to see something I can see at any other place. Like, so I started bringing all the more unusual papers, um, some fun stuff like um, you have like I that's have cute. Mario, Peter Pan, some of these really fun kind of. Yeah. Anyway. Some polar bears, you know. I think I've got some of those polar bears. Those are pretty yeah, fun. Yeah, that's a standard. Like, that's in their standard lineup. Yeah. I still like it. Maramon loose leaf. I have con Do you use Maramon? Yeah. So the All the time. So the loose leaf paper, kind of, like, I, I don't know. I've yep. been down that rabbit hole. So. Yeah. 
And then uh, you've got this table over here. Yeah, the Plumix pens. Those things are great. Yeah. yeah. So they're not filled on purpose, so we can show you how to use them. Right on. And how to clean them, because there's no point in a pen if you can't clean it. Yeah, for sure. Anyways, this is our fun little thing. Yeah, I'll probably come and hang out here later yeah. on. So, uh, yeah. Tomorrow, I figure there'll be more. Yeah, probably so. About 30 people come by over the day. But yeah. Probably, you know, like, there's a lot of people who are here for the weekend. Like, yeah. Friday. It's people who usually know what's going on already. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so if you have somebody who's a, a, a fountain pen uh, neophyte, a newbie, get them to come over here. Yeah. This table is, uh, let me back up so I can see it, but this table is, uh, yeah, right there. What's that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So come over here, and uh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, right on. Okay. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> All right. I saw something on the chat there. There, you can hear okay. Sound is off. Oh, you might need to uh, might need to somebody might need to put in the chat for uh, gate to refresh because I hope the uh, audio is doing okay. All right. So uh, there's also a little uh, like an ink like an ink testing table right here. Guess mic is a little quiet. Yeah, I don't want to stick it right in their face, but I'm gonna try to get closer to folks. Um, but there's like a, sort of like a, an inking table here. <laughs> no ink past this point or Lisa will kick your butt. So like don't get ink everywhere. But right there is pretty good. Uh, Jackie, aren't you coming? All right. Next up here is Epitome Pins. Epitome Pin Co. Right there. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. Uh, so this is Epitome Pens. We're over here for the first time at our Atlanta pen show, and we're showcasing some Indian handmade, handcrafted fountain pens. Right. Um, they're all different types of materials that we're using, starting from resins to acrylics to cellulose acetate, like celluloids, ebonites, and we're kind of focusing on the economical price point, and the audience has been great. People are lo loving the pens. We're loving the response, and it's been nice, yeah. Yeah, great. Yep. Thank you. Just show folks some pens here. Slowly but surely. And look them up online if you can't make it to the pin show. But if you can make it to the pin show, you can get in here and check out these cool pens. Oh, I missed these over here at the beginning. Probably the fanciest ones are right here, and I walked right past them because I was talking to him. There you go. Yeah. Great. Thanks very much. Yep. Uh, next up in the room here is. Hey, how's it going, John? This, this is Hello Tello. This is John Tello of Hello Tello. Don't mind the mic. Oh, all right. No, I'll, I'll grab on. Okay, okay, do it. How are you? We I'm are doing great. How are you at doing? The pin show here in Atlanta, and a lot of new makers, a lot of yeah people here, and we are doing partnering with She Designs, which is a sewing company in Nepal, making some pen pouches for us, kind of helping some of the work there. You can always check out their website at shedesignsnepal.com and see a little bit of what they're doing. So any pen that you buy from Hello Tello Studios will come with one of these. And then we have our pens, which you guys might be familiar with, but our newest one is here, our pocket pen. And so this one is either eyedropperable or you can use a mini converter and it does thread in the back. Yep. And so that gives you then the full size feel. Yeah. Yeah. This is a pretty cute little pen. I think uh, Bijuel in the chat there is going to be enjoying oh, these yeah. for sure. She loves a tiny pen. So. And that is tiny. But yeah. And other than that, you've seen a lot of what we have, but we are so grateful for all of our clients and the support and Mike for you taking people around the show for those who can't make it at least they can experience through your eyes yeah thanks it was great having you hold right. that they said that yeah. sounded great good job man all right enjoy the rest of the show <laughs> yeah see you later John thanks all right thanks Mike uh, and you can find him at uh, hellotellostudios.com yep hellotellostudio.com thanks
All right, I'm not going to hand the mic to everybody, but I will hand it to some folks if they want it, because that does, I'm sure, get a lot closer to them. So, here we have Midnight Pins, Vintage Modern and Repairs. It has all kinds of things here, as it says, Vintage and Modern, Repaired and such. Pardon me, don't let me get in the way too much here. You sure? Okay. Cameraman on the York. I know, just doing a little bit of live video for YouTube. Would you like to tell folks about what you're doing, Gary? I'm, I'm enabling people's obsession. Perfect, that's great. Uh, there are all kinds of pins here on the table, for sure. For sure, vintage and modern. Ball points, roller balls, great fountain pens. Pencils. Pencils, even? Uh, a couple of Nakaya still sitting here. There were three earlier, I think, so come find those uh, if you're looking for them. Uh, Esther Brooks, some definitely not Esther Brooks there in the back. Don't forget the sad orphans and problem pens at the end for those oh. adventurous. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you want to do a little bit of fixing on your own, there's a little bin down here of things to check out. Unrestored pens and stuff, very nice. There we go. Great. Great. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. Hey, how's it going? Just doing a little live YouTube, showing people around the show. Fantastic. Well, nice to have you here. Thanks. My name's uh, Francisco, and I have this collection here that belonged to the relative of a close family friend of mine um, who passed away recently. And um, in order to help them out, I said, you know, I live in Atlanta. Uh, you have these all these beautiful, awesome pens that you don't know what to do with. So uh, let me handle the hard part. Let me handle selling them and taking care of it. I'll go to the Atlanta Pen Show and share this beautiful collection that your, uh, your cousin grew over the course of decades and find some new homes for them. Yeah, that's great. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's very sad about how the collection came to it be is, in your is. hands, but it's very nice of you to help out folks Yeah. Uh, to, you know, get the collection into new hands. Yeah, it's, you know, uh, I, I never got a chance to meet the gentleman. I wish I would have, because um, there are some beautiful pens in here with some wonderful stories all around, and I... Uh, I, there's some questions on my mind that I wish I could get answered, but I have to discover them all on my own, essentially. Yeah. Are you selling online or just at the I, show? I am selling them online through the uh, buy, sell, buy, sell, trade, fountain pen subreddit. Um, I have a unlisted website where I have um, yeah. a catalog of everything on there that I've been able to take pictures of and, and uh, appraise and everything like that. Right so, on. Um, that... I, I can uh, share that with anybody who wishes <laughs> to find it, but uh, if yes. there if there are folks who are watching now but can't get to the show, like do you have yeah. an email address? Is that the one on the yeah, card here? So they can contact the you through. Card, uh, yeah. Francisco at franciscoadbo.com. Uh, primarily a voice actor, so this is a, a fun side hobby for me. Yeah, right on. Um, so if you reach out and are looking for any particular pen that you've seen in this uh, live stream. Um, let me know, and I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do for you. All right, great. Thanks, Francisco. Thank you very much. You have a good one. You as well. All right. There's an empty table, because folks haven't gotten here yet. And then we have uh, Michaela from White Bear Pens. This was, uh, this was my, first, my first stop of the show, I think, for purchasings. So, uh, hey, Michaela, what you got going on? Hey, not much. Hey, you want to hold the microphone? Oh, sure. Go for it. Fancy. Yeah. Uh, not much, just selling some of the pins I've been making uh -huh. since uh, Baltimore. Got some new ones. Yeah, these are very cool. I love this. Uh, <laughs> I love this like clear cap situation. Yeah, yeah. So often the cap is opaque and the body is clear. So, right. but uh, yeah, you want to see the nibs sometimes. Uh, Do Mark, it. Mark with rickshaw thinks it looks like an astronaut bear. Okay. <laughs> like a bear wearing an astronaut helmet. Yeah, or inside the the big dome. Yes, yes. So I'm kind of into that now. I think of those as my astronaut bear pens. Very awesome. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of samples back there. If you buy a pen, you get a sample. We found out that the two samples we got from the last two pins we bought from you yeah. look almost exactly the same on paper. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What are the chances? I know, right? Like what, I've, what I've apparently the, got taste. What were the samples? It was um, it was uh, wearing ghouls, no longer human, and the uh, the sailor tintirius uh, blue corn. Oh my, oh my gosh. Yeah, Weirdly, yeah. they look almost exactly the same. You're like, well, I'm just consistent, if anything. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> apparently, I have a type. I don't That's know. That's so funny. <laughs> so here's some more here. There we go. And where can they find you online if they can't make it to the show? White Bear Pens on Instagram and whitebearpens.com. 
there is a white bear. <laughs> Drawn by my lovely daughter. Uh huh. By your white bear. <laughs> yes. I assume. Yes. Also, there are very cute stickers here. So, you know, come and check out Michaela come and White Bear. Take a free sticker. Right on. Help yourself. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Michaela. Thank you so much. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go to, uh, to this table over here, right quick. Bring your supplies and Vincho. Right on. So, hi. I'm just doing a little bit of live YouTube, showing people around the show. Um, would you like to tell folks about what you've got on the table and what you're doing? Well, I'm, uh, would you like to hold the mic? Uh, I can hold the mic. Okay, cool. But, I think I can hear you better. Uh, no, how, how close do we want me to the mic? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay, two that's, of those, but that's probably fine. Yeah. All right, I'm Timothy Wyatt Carlisle. I make uh, wands, pens, and wand pens. So I've got a little bit of everything here. So, an aged paper, even. Yeah, the top two are stained with coffee. The bottom three are stained with tea, and then they're all oven dried. Some of them have some nice little crisp circles and all that from weird pan right. use. That's very cool. Free writing prompts. Yeah, we got Very some story nice. ideas in the cup there. Yep. If you want to need something to write about, you know, some short wands here. Yeah, we got short wands, with the wee wands, the wand pens, regular wands. <laughs> so we've, we've got the wands that are not pens, we've got the pens that are not wands, and then we have the wand pens. <laughs> Very nice. I think this is a table my friend Becky needs to come and find. Excellent. If she hasn't been here all right, or already. Just press down the lever slowly. Yep. Very nice. There's where you can find him online, Wyatt I'm Carlisle. On, I'm also on the Instagram and uh, Facebook, so great. You can find me there at uh, at Wyatt Carlisle. Great. Thanks very much. I appreciate hey, you're it. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> hey, how's it going? It's going pretty good. How about you? Uh, it's awesome. It's a pin show. It has been pretty fun. Yeah. So I'm giving people a little live tour on YouTube, showing around the show. Okay. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself and talk about your stuff? Sure. Awesome. Logan Merrill with Little Hollow Customs. Uh, we just started doing this uh, about a year and a half ago with the ballpoint pens and just transitioned into the fountain pens probably, what, six months ago or so? Uh, so th this is actually the first pen show we've ever been to. Right on. So we're diving in with both feet, see how it goes. All right, so ballpoints and fountain pens here. A little bit of both. Yeah. Trying to keep it interesting. Yeah, it looks like some very nice uh, acrylics and such. Uh, I see the diamond cast cards. There, there are a few yep. in there, yep. Yep, yep. There you go. We, There's his card, Little Hollow Customs. Do you sell online as well? Yep. We Great. We have uh, Facebook and Instagram both, as well as littlehollowcustoms.com. Uh, so we've, we've got all the ballpoints on the website, and the fountain pens that are left from the show will go on the website as well. Awesome. Great. Well, it was very nice to meet you. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks, Logan. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks. Come and find them. Also, look at this. Look at this sticker here. I have to grab one of those later on because that is super cute. All right. Over here, we're going around the corner. We have uh, this is Kara's Pen Co. And G is holding down the fort back here. Yo! Hey, <laughs> hey you want to hold a mic? Oh yes. There you go. Look at that. So, welcome to Kara's Pen Co. <laughs> This handing the mic around thing is a lot of fun. So, like, can I drop the mic when I'm done? I'd rather you didn't. I know, I know. We <laughs> talked about it. <laughs> yeah, so what should people see? Um, so, we have our awesome standard stuff, but what we're really showcasing is our modals that are over here. All right. So, we have our inks. Oh, look at this red on red. That's pretty cool. We have these oranges that are not available online. Mm hmm. Um, a couple of random EDKs, a few of the orange that sold out, hint, hint. Uh, standard retracts that we have over here. We have the decagraph section. Oh, that orange and blue, I might have to get one. I brought some just for you. I so. know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, know knows, she knows my number too. Uh, Carol Brosman says hi. Oh. Hi, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why so, aren't you here? No. <laughs> she's far away. I know. So am I. I know. Um, but these are the Ultum. This is our latest pen release, our latest design. We have, you know, Ultum, the modal. I'm sorry. It's modal, yep. our latest design. And then we brought Ultum. We brought some Delrin that's not available yet. We have a lot of the smaller versions. We mix and match clips that are not available online. So if you see something you like, send me an email. You know, it's like awesome bluish color in there. I showed these to Marty, by the way. He's very jealous. So, <laughs> yeah. So there's some, there's some, uh, some teal and orange. Somebody sell Tina Tree over there. 
And then, so a uh, lot of the stuff that is sold out online, we do have a few available mm -hmm. here. So yeah, come and see us. Yeah, we need to talk about these notebooks though before we go. Oh yeah, so these notebooks. Can I trade places with you? Um, Thanks. My friend, she actually makes handbags and stuff, so she started making these covers. <laughs> so they're handmade. <laughs> Um, and then we're getting other designs where it's going to hold the notebook that opens up versus the top loaded notebooks. But they're Levenger paper, great for um, ink. They don't bleed through and they do include a pen. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And these styles are great. I hadn't seen this Mike, Mike, Michael Myers one before. That's pretty great. These are some wild designs. They're like um, they're like a vinyl, huh? Yeah. So vinyl material, yeah. different kind of material. The the next ones batch I'm getting are more gonna be like leathery. Uh -huh. So we'll have more plain ones for folks that don't want it so fancy, a little bit more stylish. So yeah. check this out. Awesome. Thanks, Thank G. Thank you. Thanks. Boom, mic drop. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, simulated mic drop. <laughs> right. Do you want to receive? So he's uh. He's talking with somebody. I want to get uh, I want to get him on camera here. This is Pingeneered. He's got like all these got very cool pen and vial, like ink sample vial holders here that are 3D printed. Yeah. Oh no, I wouldn't do that. No, no. It's all good. So. Okay. You can see here I these. Um, so I call this the pen roulette system. Oh, right? I can wait. Go ahead okay. and finish yeah. your thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna show a little about it. So he's called these the pen roulette system, and they revolve here. They're like on a post, and so some of these are made for ink vials, like this one, and there are some others that are made for pens, and he'll show those here to us in a sec. They also have these bases in case you want to have more than one, and they will hold them all steady. Like they have a little groove in there, and they have little felt pads on the bottom. These are pretty neat. Uh, and you know I'm always trying not to spill ink vials on my desk, so I might have to grab one of these before I get out of the show here. Uh, there's his his stickers and logos. Just a little bit of a, the price list here. I think these are super reasonably priced. Like the ink sample, that's like 50, 15 bucks, and then the base is seven, which is not bad at all. <laughs> Beggy's eight, streamception. So there you are. All right. All right, ready for the spiel now. Yeah, you want to hold this thing? Sure. All right. Um, so yeah, so I'm relatively new, calling the company Pengineer 3D. Uh, engineer loves fountain pens. So I came up with this system originally for ink samples. I wanted to create a stable way of filling up the samples. So, you know, there's different options, but I wanted to have a little bit more utility and maybe something that can actually do some storage and have some fun with it. So basically, you know, you got the base here, you got the foam on the bottom, so it's nice and stable. And of course, it's, you can hold seven of them and they spin them around. If you have shimmery inks, it helps you know, uh, mix them up. But when you fill this up, it's nice and stable. You don't have to worry about it falling over and spilling everywhere. But if you do drip, this will catch any, inks, any ink drips. Nice. And then of course, I expanded onto the pens. Um, these are, I'm just unveiling these at the show right now. Uh, but basically, you know, they have felt lining uh, all the way down the sides, and then at the bottom, there's a felt as well. So you don't have to worry about the plastic hitting the pens or causing any scratches or anything like that. And of course, there's different bases. They have keys in there, so it locks into place like that and doesn't turn, but this will still turn. That's great. Um, each one holds seven, either seven samples or seven pens. Yep. And yeah, I'm just getting launched. You can find me at pensioner3d.com. No website yet, but you can sign up for an email list and I'll be giving away a full triple shot, I call it triple shot with three of them, uh, pen holder set. So that'll be for 21 pens to store on your desk. Yeah, right on. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. Thanks Mike. very much. Great uh, to see you and I uh, hope you have a good show. Yeah, thanks. You too. Thank you. I'll see you later. Right. Oh, also, uh, these will hold things that are slightly smaller than a, a King of Pen. King of Pen was kind of the, the probably, upper limit. It, it's, it's getting there. I haven't tried a King of Pen, but it's 15 millimeter diameter. Yeah. So anything in there, and if, you know, a lot of times they're tapered, so it might not fit all the way in, but it'll right. fit part way in. At least, at least enough to stand there and hang right. out, yeah. Right. Yeah, so a wide range of pens there for sure. Yep. Great. Thanks, Will, right. take Thank care. Thank you so much, Mike. Uh, yeah, there is a tactile turn, uh, or there are some tactile turns here. Uh, they're at the John Gould's table. We'll get to them here in a little bit. We've got the uh, the Andorillium table over here. You see their cool new sign there, which is like 3D printed on both sides. It's pretty neat. You can see they have all kinds of inks over here. These Andorillium inks are pretty great. Hey, how's it going? Um, they're, they're chatting, so I don't want to get in there too far, but uh, you can buy ink sets, you can buy individual bottles. Uh, very cool stuff from Andorillium. I'm a big fan of these inks. Uh, they're, um, there are some of them that are kind of my favorites. Like, I really like the, um, 
uh, flapjack squid and that sort of thing. So check out Anderley Minx if you haven't already. And here we got Heinz Pens. He's over here chatting as well, but he's got some blanks on his table. Right there. If you're looking for just blanks, you want to make your own. And then as we look down the table here, he's got a whole bunch of pens uh, in trays right there. Anodized nibs, all that kind of jazz. Hey, Jim. There we go. <laughs> let's just go down there. All right, let's see. Oh, we haven't done the middle yet. So this is, uh, this is Nick Pang here. He is busy drawing words. That's kind of Nick's thing as he loves to draw some words. He's uh, sometimes teaching classes and uh, he's always got really cool pens at his uh, table here. Uh, restored pens, mostly vintage. You'll find a few modern things every once in a while, but a lot of vintage. Oh man, look at these. I have to ask him about these shapers. I actually got one of these and I don't really know anything about it. So let's check that out. So lots of cool vintage stuff on Nick's table. I know, Nick's at his table. Well, Vanessa's not here, I don't think, so I think he's probably having to hold down the table. And I don't know if they're doing, uh, if they're doing any classes for Nick at this show, so he's going to be at the table. So if you actually wanted to see Nick, uh, this is the place to go. And if you ask real nice, he'll draw a word for you, probably. <laughs> he says maybe, but he's joking. He definitely will. Any word. Any word. Dirtier the better. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, thank you, sir. Oh, that's, that's what, yeah, that's you nice. Oh, look at these, try it. Like, these sure awesome rodents here. I think these must be a custom really uh, vanishing point that somebody so did for very, them. Very, very sharp like Those are pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice knit, actually. Yeah. Well, Mike does a great job. Oh, Mike is the best. I think he's I got these. He's the best at it. So, I actually have so there's Nick's tables. Let me go around this way. Excuse me. Oh, no, you're fine. I just wanted to warn you I was coming through. Um, hi, how's it going? Doing a little live YouTube, showing people around. I wish my husband was here. That's okay, I'll just show the tables. So, here we have all kinds of cool vintage things on this end. Well, pen and pencil sets there. I can back up and show the sign now. There you go. Fall Creek Pen Company is where you can find them. And all kinds of... Oh, we got some more modern over here. All manner of things. Pilots, sailors, shafers, some cross, occasional Lamy. I actually have a Lamy 2000 waiting for me at home. I won one of the um, one of the pens from the the Alice Penco um, uh, tournament bracket. I was not expecting that at all. Also, some cigar boxes that have been transformed into pen cases. So find them at Fall Creek Pens. And next up, coming around the table over here, this way. Hi, Just doing a little live YouTube, showing people around the show. If you'd like to. Tell people about what you got. Oh, just uh, 25 years of collecting pens. Ah, uh, so these are from your collection. Yes, and it's time to uh, share them uh, with the good homes. Oh, man. I keep telling myself I'm going to do that. And uh, very, very seldom do I actually do it. <laughs> so come and check out all these pens. Man, this is, a, this is an awesome array of pens. It's the whole spectrum. Uh, everyday writers, fancy stuff. Stuff I would never write with. That, uh, Stuff you would never write with. Which would you are. never write with? Oh, like this uh, Visconti Old Testament, mm -hmm. um, Scrimshaw, uh, Ivory Resin pen. Yep. I probably would never write with them. <laughs> <laughs> there are some pens that kind of end up in that category for us, you know? But always a great show here in Atlanta. Yeah. So come find him in this uh, first ballroom. Thanks very much. We'll see you later. All right, next up is Iron Feather, and of course Brian is left. He always leaves. He knows I'm coming. <laughs> so this is ironfeathercreative.com here. I'll show you some of the pins on the table here. I'm not going to put you on the spot unless you want me to. Uh, some of these are engraved. Some of them have beautiful roll stops that are cast. Most of these are done with uh, resins that uh, Brian has cast himself. 
I actually bought a pen off this, uh, this stand here uh, early this morning. As soon as I opened up, I was like, I have to have this. So I saw it and wouldn't put it down. You can see some engraved things. I know, right? Super cool. You've got to find uh, Iron Feather because he makes really cool stuff. He's awesome, like, satchels here. And this is a pen that he's just like, you know, I really kind of want to have one like this. And so he decided to try to make one. This is uh, an offset uh, nib holder that is engraved out of uh, antler. And then we've got here some more of these, some with big uh, silver cast roll stops, engraved clips, uh, a few smallish knives here set in antler uh, and engraved with uh, beautiful sheaths. There you go. Also, the prices on these are kind of silly. At 140, this is a no-brainer. Absolutely come and grab some of these or find them at uh, ironfeathercreative.com. Thanks. Thank you. We'll see you later. I will show you all the one I got later on, uh, probably next week. I know, the satchels look really good, don't they? I know, I'm chasing you down the aisle. Move it. Move it, Bill, move it. <laughs> I know Bill, I've known Bill for quite a while. He's not just some random guy I was shooing. All right, so that's the small room. Uh, then this is the, uh, the Yaffa tables, which we will hit after we get finished with this room here. So this is the other ballroom. This one is usually this size, but it's the same as the other one. So we have two like medium ballrooms and a fairly large one. Going through this corner in here. Um, let's kind of go, let's go this way. We'll go clockwise. So starting out over here, we've got uh, the Masayamas. Mike at work. How's it going, Mike? Great. Come see Mike and get some nib work done. There's a list over there that his lovely wife will keep, and they will uh, do nibs for you. Mike is one of the best nib grinders around. We have actually excellent nib grinders here at this show. Next to him is Matthew Chen who's done some nibs for me, and I think we'll probably do another nib for me later on this weekend. Let's come see Matthew as well, get on his list. And this side over here, uh, no, we haven't seen Audrey yet. We'll get to her in this room though. These are Jimmy Dolev's tables. There's Jimmy way down there. He's total office supplies. There he is. Hey there. <laughs> Welcome to the Atlanta show. Yeah, thanks Jimmy. What do people have here that they need to know about? Well. I know you find this, this from me today. today J so, Jimmy's uh, been trying to sell me this pen for like a year. Yeah, um, just it, give me that credit card, um, I'll surprise you. Oh, oh good. Yeah. I do love surprises. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and I, we might as well throw in a church heel too. I mean, you might as well. I, I probably ought to get two just so I can have one and write with one, you know? I, I think you should have two of everything. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find on Jimmy's yeah, table. You don't want to ever, um, Always good stuff here. Oh, yeah, we got the saxophone pen. That's cool. This they made by Delta. Oh uh, yeah. Sax. It sure does. Fountain pen. There you go. When you get tired of writing, you just play a tune. Uh-huh. Yep. That sounds good. That sounds good. <laughs> then have a nice flashback. Yep. That's right. <laughs> a flashback? How did you know I played sax? There's some Little tiny sailors play there. Sax, I'll play with your sack. Mm hmm. Got the new uh, Giovanni Santini pins. Oh, those are interesting. Yeah, aren't they beautiful? Beautiful Italian. Yeah. It's got to be an ebonite, right? That's the ebonite with a large 18 karat gold nib piston. Sure piston is. Feel, feel gorgeous. Whew. Uh, give me your credit card for that, too. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a lot of surprises. These surprises are racking up. I don't know, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, I got to make sure you're taken care of. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody's got to take care of me after uh, Audrey sees that credit card bill from those surprises. Uh, there's some beautiful duofolds just kind of hanging out over here in this case. Got the Babe, the babe Ruth uh, by Chrome. Ooh. Got a piece of his uh, baseball bat in the clip right there. Came wow. out around uh, 1999. Wow. Yeah, mother of pearl in the cap there. Yeah. Pretty. Baseball. You don't see a whole lot of crones around. Those are pretty rare. They've, they've disappeared. They yep. were all so good. Yeah. So, uh, yep. so great. He's also got a couple of uh, exclusive inks for this year's show. I saw a couple of the Atlanta 23 inks over there. And he's this also is got. The, uh, um, Atlanta Pen Show Inc. for uh, 2024 called Peach. Yep. And this is the Atlanta Pen Show Inc. for 
2024 right here called the Total Eclipse. Yeah. Well, the Eclipse. Nice. Yeah. So one of them's, I guess, a black and the other one's a peach? They only make 28 bottles of each one. Oh, all right. Well, I got to come back. I got to get one of those then later on. Definitely got to get that peach for sure. Yeah, when you get That's those nice. other pins. Uh-huh. Oh, man. Now it's become a very expensive ink. Very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you spill some ink on your shirt. A little bit, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Jimmy. We'll see you later, man. Okay, man. Bye bye. Hello, hello. <laughs> hey. All right. Hey, Frank. How you doing, man? Hey, man. Good. You want to tell people about what you got on the table? Uh, I have a picture. Of yeah. A little, little Omos there? Yes, a little uh, reproduction of the original painting that was like the advertisement piece back in the day. Yep. Courtesy of Jimmy. Give yep. me the painting. For oh, the really? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's very cool. And uh, new uh, production uh, Frosted Demonstrator almost that has been um, pretty well received on the market uh, since we launched two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, right. Yeah. Nice. And uh, yeah, it every, seems everybody liked the black trip. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. And some very classic Omos looking pins back here. And on this side. And then uh, narwhals? Narwhal, we have, uh, I guess this is special. We had this pen last year. Uh, it was just uh, plain black and white. Now it's, uh, we uh, relaunched the edition with the sparkling inside. And uh, oh, yeah. uh, we put that in January, sold out the first batch. Now we restart them, uh, we, will probably, we will see how, how long they last. Very cool. Yeah. yeah, that white one is much sparkly, much more sparkly than it looks on camera. Yeah, the camera doesn't more, want to pick it up, but it yeah, is a very sparkly pen. The for black sure. is more subtle. Yeah. Like more, yeah. yeah, that's cool. Very nice. All right. All right. Okay. Hey. I think that's everything we have. Uh, one more new uh, collaboration with uh, Ralph uh, Regali Writing Lab uh, with his uh, flex nib on the Ikaku Iruchi pen. And uh, let's see if I can make it do. Well, no ink. <laughs> <laughs> it's going well until you're out of ink. That's what happens with these flex nibs, they go right through that ink. Yeah. I was just dipping it. Here we go. There you go. Yeah, I'm not a good calligraphy. I, I mean, it shows off the shows off the flex there. That is good. Very nice. All right. Great. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Frank. You can find those uh, everywhere. Narwhals are sold, and uh, Omas, of course. All right. Next up, we have another new vendor. How's it going, ladies? Hi. I warned you I was coming through. Would you like to tell people about what you have? I have a microphone. Okay. Here you go. We got some great handmade stuff. These are bags, just cute little bags, hold pens. Yeah. And uh, they're all unique because no pen is going to look exactly the same and ink colors oh. are different. Did you do this with a stamp or how did you do these? I, um, or you, don't you ever have heard of me. a Cricut? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm a Cricut crazy person. So this nice. is vinyl and then I iron it on. Very cool. So each piece is cut separately. And then these are notepads that have an e a pen attached so you always know where your pen is. Yep. And they're just, you know, some fun designs that I created on the computer. Cute. And then I love photography, so these are just some fun note cards, eight cards and eight envelopes. And there are a whole bunch of different versions yes, of these. Yes. Lots of different photographs. And they tell you on the back where I took it, like in my front yard or... <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> or a Yellowstone. Yeah. You know, so super this fun. Very nice little bird here. These are really, really great photos. Yeah, and then I decided to make this t-shirt for the pin show. Very so nice. everything here is just for the pin show. I don't sell this online. Okay. So, so come, then, to, come to the pin show. Yeah, come to the pin show, right? Right on. What is uh, Nancy uh, Nancy Bond printables then? Yeah, so you can print these cards like you can buy a document. Oh, okay. And you just print the cards yourself. Oh, right on. Yeah. That's so cool. So that's super easy for them. Print as many times as you want. Yeah, very so neat. So you can get that online. And her tote bags. Yeah. <laughs> Fun tote bags. Uh, it, yeah, it's, Yes, yeah, you are. You're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Thanks very much. Yeah. So Next we up, shared uh, a, a six-foot table. We each have three feet. <laughs> uh huh. So can we put that? So yeah. we hold it. Yes. 
So my bestseller has been something called a book sidekick, which is designed to hold a pencil on the side of a journal or a book, and it is magnetic, so it's put it toward the back of the book. It holds note cards, a straight edge, and then comes with a little magnetic bookmark. It's a pencil or a pen. Pencil or a pen, very important. Sure, yeah. Yes. And you can move it from, from notebook to notebook. Right. Like I said, I can't stick with one notebook, so right. that's really important. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That comes in handy. Yeah. And then these are portfolios that are made to hold either a book or a um, portfolio or a journal. And then this is a fun thing, obviously a pipette. Yep. These are little tiny water bottles. You fill them with water, and so when your pen nib gets dry, uh -huh. we call it a nib dip. Nice. Because you can just dunk it, they fit perfectly in there, instead of having to lick it. Sure. So, <laughs> and then, these are felt independent for pencil holders, or you can put silverware in your backpack, whatever you want to do. Yeah. And then these are zippers for carriers for other things. Yeah. And the last oh, those item, are great. Yeah. The last item is a, it's made out of ultra suede, and it is a pen sleeve. So it protects your pens. Yep. You just pop it to the, pull it to the side. And, yeah. so then, and obviously they can be color coded so you know which pen is in which holder. Very nice. Well, thank you very much, ladies. You'll have a great nice to see you. Yeah, have it's a good nice afternoon. For you to come by. Of course. See you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, all kinds of fun stuff. Several new vendors at the pen show this year, which is always fun. All right, so here we have. Uh, Ray, who's, uh, <laughs> whose trays are immediately recognizable as soon as you get near them. I was like, wait, what's this? And I looked up and, uh, and it was this guy with awesome pens here. Hey, Ray, how's it going, man? Going very well, thank you. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Of course, of course. Uh, you also, if you need a sterling silver bic, uh, those actually do exist and uh, <laughs> there are a few of them. So come and try and go find one at Ray's place. But also, I mean, if it's awesome and limited, sometimes vintage, sometimes more modern, Ray's probably got it at his table here. Plus he and Ange are delightful. So come say hi to Ray. I'll find his card over here. It's vintage and modern pens right there, Ray Walters. You can look him up online. If you see something at the table here you need to have, and you probably do. All right, let's scooch on here. All right, next up is Phoebe here. And Phoebe, hi, are you ready for me? Sure. Okay, would you like to hold a microphone? Do I have to? No, okay. you can. I would rather not. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I am Phoebe. Um, I am clearing out uh, my parents' antiques business, and this is the uh, pen, pen related section of their business um, pen parts. Ink refills, automatic pencils, ink bottles, and I am a bookbinder, so all of these books uh, were made by me. Very cool. And do you sell any of these online? I do. I have uh, an Etsy shop. There you go. Uh, Palimpsest Design Studio. Great. And there it is down at the bottom. So go and find those there. These are very nice little books. And also some bigger books up at the top. There we go. Bound by Phoebe. Thanks very much. Appreciate yeah, thank it. Thank you. Thanks for talking to me. Uh, then these next several down here are Smooty pens. Uh, they have here Mormon and some Girologo, Girologio, some endless pens. Excuse me, sir. Thanks. Um, some uh, Midori MD. Their uh, Evoke notebooks I just put a uh, video up for. So they have testers out here in case you want to test out how these papers work. All kinds of notebooks here. And there's Nermal. How's it going, man? Hey, good, good. How you doing? I'm doing great. You want to tell people about what you have? Yeah. Would yeah. you like to hold a microphone? Oh, absolutely. All right. We're yeah. very official here. Well, yeah, I know. It's all very official this time. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> we don't have the star over here either. So I mean. I guess, well, I'm going to have to do this, I guess. Yeah, um, totally. Yeah, but we got, you know, we got all this paper. We got a bunch of stuff here at three tables this time. Pens. Uh, we got some new pens from Benure here, and from Opus as well. We get we've added Caveco this year. Um, 
We've added a bunch of new inks. Uh, Colorverse has come out with some of these new inks right here. Um, but yeah, yeah, so we got some uh, ink swatches as well. People can come take a look at it and get a feel for stuff. Oh, and Iris Nebula. Fun time. This was the one I was looking for. Oh, yeah. That one's yeah, a really a cool one. looking gray. I'm going to have to grab one of those here. Yeah. Uh, you'll we've find them at Smoochie And yeah, we've got all these new ink colors. We have really good ink brands. You've got uh, Colorverse there and Warangul and uh, of course uh, Irishizuku, Girbon. Uh, Tasha, some of my favorites, Dominant Industry, which are always good. By now, well, they're actually right next to Franklin Kristoff. I've been hanging out next to them all day. So there's that, that Iris Nebula that I was looking at right there. Really cool looking uh, ink. So yeah, you can find them. Yeah. Thanks so much. Bro. Thanks, Nermal. Appreciate it. You can find them online at Smrooty Pins or here at the Pin Show over here in the corner. They're always cool to hang out with. So come say hi. Uh, I've been hanging out with these two over here in the corner a little bit while I was resting my weary bones, uh, talking to this lady right here, Audrey, who is uh, busy doing nibs. Look at her go. Oh yeah, Scott and Paul back here, manning the table. Hello, hello. How's it going, guys? I mean, you know, it's a pin show, so pretty awesome. Oh yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you wanna show people about what you got this new? And talk? You wanna hold a microphone? Look at that. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always have color prototypes and stuff mixed in, and we have our new uh, reporter's notebooks here. Yep. As seen on TV. Uh-huh. Now. <laughs> right here we have our new Italian leather. So we've had the British tan, now we have the coccinella and the hortensia, teal and a kind of reddish leather. Mm. And we have them in 3, 6, and 12, and they're all in stock, they're on the website more color protos and stuff here. We decided to set up uh, uh, all the antique stuff in one spot so people can see what we have in antique glass. Here we have all our Maki -E specialty stuff. And we have our experimental laser engraving, our pencils, solid brass pen, weighs about three pounds. <laughs> and uh, and that's, uh, uh, here's our septagonal, these have been uh, these right here have been really good sellers. We're sold out on this again online, but we have the other colors. We'll have that soon. And we're in the last days of our 45, 45L, 45XL, 46, 46L, pocket 66, and 66s. All are going away. And then we'll have a new wow. 45 and a new 46. And we'll keep doing 66s in the septagonal. And outside of that, we have 100 new things coming this year. You have and what now? A, a lot of new things coming. <laughs> he said 100, and I'm like, wait, what's now? Yeah, yeah, great. So, so we'll yeah. have new paper products and notebooks and new pencil. We'll have a new model, pen model design later this year. And keep on trucking. Uh, great, I'm looking forward to seeing all that. Yep. That's the first time I, I'm hearing of it, too. So I was just like, oh, yeah, no, I know some of this. I'm just not telling you. I'm like, great, great. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, also these new uh, these new leather ones uh, smell great and also feel really good. I was over there sitting next to him. He's like, "Smell it." I'm like, "I'm way ahead of you, man." They smell really good. Yeah. And nice and supple. Yeah, really, really supple. Feel great there. Vegetable tan, Italian leather. Yeah, yeah, those are pretty great. There's Audrey down there still working. We'll catch up with her at the end probably. She's Thanks, Scott. She's almost, almost. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate you. We have uh, here Stacy Robinson, who's just setting up. He doesn't have any pins to show us, but uh, we'll come back at the end and catch you, Stacy. He's always got some cool stuff there. I almost always end up with a pin from Stacy. Then we have the John Gould's tables, which uh, the John Gould's weren't able to make it because of a new baby in the family, but they did send uh, Marty and the crew out here with some, uh, some pins, a whole bunch of rickshaw, some Retro 51, some tactile turn. So we have here Pilot representing here with some, a little bit of Rod and some VPs, Vanishing Points, that sort of jazz. These retractables, a couple of Montegrappas on the table, a little bit of ink, a few cool pens, and then a Tactile Turn, which is new for drum goals, right? You want to tell people about some stuff? Want to hold a microphone? Sure. Okay, go for it. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we as in drum goals, uh, are yeah. now going to be carrying Tactile Turn online. You'll be able to order that or in the store. And so we have some here at the show. So we got some aluminum ones, 
zirconium. And uh, this is the Icefall limited edition that just ended recently. So mm -hmm. those are about gone. We just have a normal titanium bolt action side click. Brought a couple of knives because mm -hmm. if you know me, I'm in the knives as well. Yeah. Husbands, as Mike is as well. We got some bronze and copper here. Yep. Oh, you know I'm carrying the orange one. Well, of course, <laughs> with the orange watch band. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Shock yeah, everybody. G has a whole envelope over there. Yeah. We're just waiting I for know, you. I so, yeah. Too. yeah. <laughs> Don't say it in front of my wife. <laughs> she says you were you know, sending them to some friends overseas or something. Oh, so. that is true. That yeah, is yeah, true. Yeah. Rudy, if you're listening, those yeah. are for you. <laughs> so, Thank you for that save. Yeah, hey, man. Like, I'm here to it help. It is true, though. <laughs> <laughs> and some retros over yeah, here. Some collectible retros, standard stock. Oh, you got the new fine. Alice and cat and dog rescues. Yeah. And you know, we got, yeah, absolutely. Nice. you know we have rickshaw stuff for days as well. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's this iridescent one right here? That is the Drum Ghouls uh, exclusive, the Unity and Promise, I think. Wow. A few sets of those left. That's from maybe 2022. Really? Man, I don't remember that at all. That is... Yeah, it's a really that nice That is one. cool. Right on. And that's the other one that came with it. You get the two or singles. Oh, neat. Huh. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. There's still some of those left. Oh, you know what? Now nice. I, I am remembering. They came with like a set of the, the two yeah, pins together. With the together. rickshaw sleeve and stuff. You get them as a set. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they did one before that, too. Um, strength and... I don't remember the name. But they did another one with different colors with the exact same pattern. Yeah, right on. So, yeah, and Mark and Cheryl sent us a trillion rickshaw items. And... That's going really yeah, no well worries. as well. That's going to go around you. We have some, uh, there's a couple of uh, different kinds of bags over here. The bonsai bag, no, sorry, the bento bag. No. No, it is bonsai now. It is the bonsai. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember which one's and which the sometimes. A5 field bag. Yep. Very cool. Got the deluxe roll, A5. Sinclair R's. Six rolls. I carry the Sinclair R's all the time. That's, that's uh, my go-to, yeah. really. I think I brought three. I can cram so much stuff in those. <laughs> front pocket, inside, wherever right. you can fit so much in there. Yeah, usually what I'll do with these is, um, since they have the pocket on the outside, I actually usually put my um, on my SSD drive, mm -hmm. I'll throw that in yeah. the front pocket. And then on the inside, it has uh, three pens uh, slots, and I'll put my fountain pens yep. in there. And on the other side, I'll put like, I don't know, ballpoints yeah. and highlighters and like other stuff I need for the I, yeah, school day. Field notes or yeah. the Odyssey. I carry the Odyssey field note size. I'll just stick those right in the middle in between all the pockets. That, it's a super useful little thing. You can stack little pins in there. You can yeah, do it all. So, for sure. That's fun. Yeah, well, great. Thank you for coming by. Yeah, thanks, Marty. Appreciate it, man. All right. Uh, we have a couple of empty tables here because folks haven't gotten here yet. I'm not sure who those tables are going to be. I can't remember from last year. And we have here uh, Mike from Mad Mercantile. They have all kinds of cool vintage things. Restored, of course. He's always got something interesting on his table. Right here. I'll show you some of this stuff. He's, he's doing some deals. So I'll show you some of this stuff here. Uh, Odyssey is not here this year, actually. I haven't um, been out here. Hey, Mike. Good to see you, Mike. Good to see you as well. Good mind. Good mind. You'll have to come and find him here at the pin show. Then we've got a uh, friend here, Scott Jones. How's it going, man? How's everyone out there doing? They're doing great. He's over here doing doodles. Look at this there. Come and head down to the Atlanta Pen Show if you're in the area. We, uh, we're trying to encourage people to use their fountain pens to do creative stuff. Um, I have books over a decade worth of daily drawing with vintage fountain pens, and uh, it's a lot of fun. And everyone here is not on their cell phones, but enjoying being around one another and enjoying fountain pens. Except for me, who is on his cell phone. But yeah, yeah, I know, it's, I <laughs> Transaction and video bloggers. Are that's right. Except for that. That's good. That's good. But it's a and, uh, wonderful time. Is this today's drawing? Yeah, actually, this yeah. is today's drawing. Oh, look how fun that is. It's a sort of abstract, a lot of cross hatching, yeah. 18th century fine line art. Very cool. Yeah. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it, man. Take care. We have uh, Joe Lowe's table here. Joe's always got some interesting stuff on his table. You never know what you're yeah. going to find on these tables uh, from uh, the vintage and modern dealers. You've got a little bit of everything. Sometimes you find things that like just kind of exactly what you're looking for. Uh, oh, oh, I see. Uh, 
some of these. I don't think Joe does any online sales, so you're going to have to come and find him at the show. But Joe's a good guy and has some really interesting stuff here. Just a whole binder full of Mont Blanc there. And some Mont Blancs spinning around over here as well. Some dual folds and all that jazz. <laughs> this little ink jar has gotten me uh, at least two times at different shows. Uh, this is Joe Lowe, in case you want to get a hold of him uh, about something you've seen here. Uh, there you go. All right, let's, um, let's go to the other room. So that's the small room. Oh, uh, there's the Federalist uh, pens are the entire other side of this aisle uh, back over here. And they have uh, just big bins of paper and ink and all the modern pens that you can look for or hope for. Go through here. Yeah, it's it's like all right. All right, let's check out this here uh, table. So starting down here with Pen Niter from uh, the Yaffa folks. All kinds of things. These are a vac filler that I actually hadn't seen until the last pen show. Uh, these are a really nice little pen actually. I haven't used one yet, but they feel good in the hand. Let's so check one of those out soon. Comes in several colors there, including just straight up clear. I have seen online these come with gold nibs as well, but I think steel's probably good enough for me. And uh, Mayora and Delta. Delta is back in a big way, a very classic sort of uh, uh, colorway. Well, Odyssey Willem is a, uh, is a notebook brand. I'm not sure what the Odyssey Field Notes is, um, but he knows more about Field Notes than I do, actually. We have here. Uh, some of the uh, the Diplomat Nexus, and these are a new kind of Nexus, which are uh, part demonstrator. So the nib and it, everything is up here, and then this right, <laughs> you'll pay, pay me back, cool. <laughs> um, then this here is uh, where the ink goes, you can see the whole mechanism working, which is pretty neat. Uh, then the white one, which I still haven't got my hands on, I need to do that. Uh, and then, I think newest on the table probably is this, this blue lacquer one, which let me get this under a light, it's super dim here in the hall. But this blue lacquer is just, it's so shiny and has like a really nice depth to it. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. You know I like an arrow. So, um, let's see what else we have here. Uh, we got some Conklins, Monteverdes. There's Ken right there doing some business. Hey man. Uh, the, the, the Monteverdes and Conklins continue down the table here. I'm gonna check them out. There's uh, there's there's Brad Dowdy schmoozing in the hallway. And we have here Michael's big boy. How's it going, Michael? Fat boy. A fat boy. <laughs> I, was, I, I downgraded it. I don't know. Uh, Michael makes these really cool pens that have really interesting themes, like this here Tesla coil pen, and he is in the darkest corner of the hallway here, I think. And uh, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to see, maybe. But all kinds of the red metals, like the, the brasses. There's some copper in there, it looks like. Some skinnier pins there. All these little pin holders uh, spin on these uh, little bearings down there, which is fun. This little tornado -y pin here. He's got some that are like, uh, like piston rods. Really neat stuff from Fat Boy. And then, if you need one that is like simultaneously a Tesla coil and a Barbie pen, uh, there's this big pink one here. And these are our fountain pens, actually, as you can see from the open ones there. There you go. You can find him online as Michael's Fat Boy. Is there? Oh, there we go. Oh, Michael's Pins. You got Michael's Pins? That's pretty good. Good get, man. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Thanks. I think the name actually originates from, uh, he started doing motorcycle style designs and Fat Boy is a type of motorcycle. So it's got uh, that kind of, I don't know, machine shop kind of heritage there. So this is the bigger ballroom. You can see here, there's a Sandra there. Cupcake girl, we might have seen her in some videos. She's a good friend of ours. You're gonna slow pan around the room. Right there, with Pilot over on this side. So. Um, let's end with them and go this way around the room, I think. Hey, Lauren. Do you have a table this weekend, or are you just hanging out? I just flew in for work, actually. Oh. For, the, for an Atlanta overnight. So well, right on. I'm, I'm spectating tonight. 
shopping. Okay, we'll do some shopping, good. Um, here's a place you can shop. Hey, can I get at that sign real quick? I'll go this way. There you go. Zodiac Pin Company right here. Oh, you're fine. I'll just go around you. Right there. This is uh, Zodiac Pins himself. You want to talk to people about what you got? Hey, how are you? Awesome. You want to hold a microphone? Okay. So I've got um, some of my anniversary models. I have what's new for my spring, summer 2024. It's a seafoam abalone. I have some of my Carolina agate, which is proprietary material. I have some new material from Poorly Control. The Red Knight that's Sky. Got a, that's got a beautiful chatoyance to it. Very much. It's, yeah. And and I've just got a collection of Brooks, Dupras, and turnt pin materials. Yeah. For sure. Oh man, look at this. Look at this white one. Wow. That's an opal. That is. And a Taurus model. That is pretty rad. I like that. That's really nice. Great. That's Brad, and you can find him at Logs to Treasures. Yep. Logstotreasures.com. There you go. Uh, backslash Zodiac pins, or you know, it's I do bow turning, charcuterie boards, that kind of stuff. So it's it's all on one website. Very nice. Thanks, man. Right. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Of course. See you later, man. Yeah. All right. Let's go around this way. What are you What are you showing us, Sandra? Look at the teeniest, tiniest little pen that you could possibly get. That is a really small pen. <laughs> yes, but it does post. <laughs> well, it better post. How small is it unposted? Where'd you find this? I can't even see the pen. Look at this thing. Wow, where'd you find this? I got it over at Kirk Spears. All right, we'll have to take a look at those. Yeah, That's adorable. Like, he has one inked up. Okay. <laughs> and then my other my other pen purchase. Uh, where'd you get that from? Well, from oh, white uh, oh, White Bear? Bear? I don't know. Have we heard about this one before? Yeah. That's yes. very cool. I love those bands. That's gorgeous. Yes, it is beautiful. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yes. Nice. Good find, Sandra. Yeah. See you later. See you later. <laughs> And we have uh, Divine Pins Plus out of Palm Bay, Florida. We have hats and shirts here. Ask me about my nibs. Some jewelries here as well. These are handmade. I was talking to the handmaker at DC. We have some pen stands here. Look like they are a bottle that's washed up on the beach. Just kind of like a poured acrylic is what it looks like there. We also have these, which are like a bucket of sand with a little bottle you can put your pen in. Super fun. And uh, we got here Braxton, how's it going, man? Good, how are you? I mean, I'm doing great. You wanna tell people about what you got? Yeah, sure. Would so you like yeah. to hold a microphone? Yeah. All right. I can do that. Great. All right, so uh, custom pen maker. You know, I do everything handmade. We do our own metal work, so all of our good clips, basically everything with the nib we make. Um, a lot of our resins are in-house, or we'll use the premium diamond cast and Brooks blanks uh, that in a lot of the pens. Um, Pretty much any colors, different styles. We like to use unique materials. The ones in the front are Corvette Fordite. Then we have a watch parts and then a new Pride Abalone blank that we uh, did. For oh, is that this one right here? Yeah. Wow. So it's real abalone shell in there that, that's been dyed into the rainbow collars. Wow. So and then you know, my wife does all the pin stands and the jewelry. It's a, it's a cool little family business and it's been a great show so far. Very nice. Great. All right. And you can find them online as Divine, as, uh, Divine Pins Plus. Absolutely. Great. Thanks very much, Braxton. Thank you. All right. A couple more uh, empty tables. Folks who are coming probably tomorrow. Uh, I think somebody was showing up, talking about in the, uh, in the chat there uh, earlier on. They had like massive snowstorms up north. And I know some people have definitely got caught in those. This is Ryan Krusak's table here. There's Ryan. He's waving. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Oh, you're totally fine. I'm just coming over the top. Uh, Ryan has a whole bunch of uh, really cool looking pins here. Most of them are woods. Some of them are, uh, are antler. Like, uh, I don't know, we'll get to one of those here soon. Chevrolet? Yeah, I think it would be. Yeah, here. They are all kinds of different wood materials. Some of them are also lacquered to preserve the finish. For those of us who are scared to use our... Uh, our our raw wood pens because we don't want to get them stained. This one actually has knots in the, the wood itself. That's really cool. 
This one's kind of like half and half. Half black and half wooden there. This one, this is bright white one. The lights are really blown out as antler, so it has like little spots in it. These are naturally shed antler, probably moose. Uh, he has a guy who sends him just a, you know, a crate of antlers every year after they are shed. But they're naturally shed, so uh, no animals hurt in making those. It's going to fall off anyway. And we've got some really beautiful pins up in here as well. And there are these. Hey Ryan, how's it going? It's going great. You want to chat with some folks? Yeah, sure. You want to hold a microphone? Sure. What are all right. What are talking about today? I don't know. Pins, I guess. Pins, all right. Hey, well, what do you got? It only makes sense. Well, um, <laughs> I've got a brand new scrimshaw design. This is the artist proof. I've only done one. Going to do a little more tweak. It's an American bald eagle uh, in the Rocky Mountains. Then I've got um, a feathered walnut cap. I'm not sure that this cap is going to be the final answer. Um, I like the embellished caps that I've been doing. I may like do some eagle feathers on the cap. I'm not sure yet. But that's what artist proofs are all about. Because it's the, the grand experimentation. Wow. There's your eagle there. Very cool. Awesome. And then, um, one of the, to me, one of the other exciting things that's going on is, those of you who've been following my saga with the nerve damage I had from a neck injury, um, I've had a tremor in my painting hand, um, but it's been getting better. I've been having more and more good days. And awesome. So um, I do finally have a, a couple of hand painted. I've got some koi that I've hand painted. I know it's it's a little bit more of a, a basic painting than what I'm used to, like with the, the the tigers and some of the other things, but it's a start and it's a, it's, um, we're moving back in that direction. So Ryan's gonna downplay how cool these are, but let me tell you what, these are beautiful. And uh, are they simpler than the tiger? I mean, sure. Yeah. But still, gorgeous pens. Really nice koi there. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. You need to tell Ryan to, to, to play up his pens a little bit harder. I mean, I'll do it for him, but like, <laughs> beautiful stuff there. Well, thank you. Yeah, man. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, thanks for stopping by. Of course. Thanks. Yeah, cheers, everybody. Yeah. Also, you'll find some uh, engraved pins here as well. We've got like Celtic knots and, uh, and scales, feathers, all kinds of beautiful stuff. Yeah, all the, the dragon scales and the Celtic knot are engraved into Bolivian rosewood. Bolivian rosewood, he says. Very cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Find him online. This is Ryan Krusak Studios. There you go. I've been friends with Ryan for a long time. I <laughs> have several of those pens. Uh, so this uh, corner here is all Kirk Spears' corner. Uh, and you'll find him at Pen Realm. He does uh, en uh, engraving. He does uh, nib tuning and uh, pen repairs and grinds and all that jazz. They have here some uh, Japanese cloth pen cases over here on the end. Uh, some smaller pens and uh, like sort of entry level stuff. Some cute things like these little uh, sushi erasers, which uh, <laughs> are really fun. Got some nib, uh, sorry, um, sample vial holders. Some Ackerman bottles here. Uh, I think he's really the only place to find backpack inks. These are like six bucks a piece. And there's some really nice colors in those. And we have here uh, some really interesting paper clips and such. Some ink, and then we get down into the pens. And he has a really wide array of pens. Everything from uh, you know the Kavecos down on this end, and Estherbrooks and such, up to really high-end pilots. Uh, Twisby's over there. There he is down at the end doing a grind or two. You can find him by the hat. Uh, but he's got all kinds of pins here. Definitely go and check those out. Oh, they're fine. I'm not going to show the rest of those because I don't want to get in people's way. Uh, we've got here Crazy Allen, who um, used to own our local pin shop over in North Carolina, but he has since retired to the pin show circuit, which is not that much of a retirement, if you ask me. But he's coming to all these shows now, uh, and he's got lots of pins, vintage, modern, things from collections, papers, inks, all of that jazz. You can see some of these in here, and some modern ones. Pardon me, I was here. Yeah. And then, just going over the top of some folks, right quick. You see there are lots of vintage things here. Some of these really odd and hard to find. There are some really interesting pilots, like over in here. There's some silver ones in here. Some of these look like 74s, but are actually like 73s and 72s that they don't really have here from a collection that he found. 
some of the luminous shadows, which are actually like a king of pin, essentially, but like priced way lower, weirdly. I don't know why. Uh, then we got some high-end uh, Lamis here with the dialogues and the personas. And then just a whole bunch of paper down on this end, right here. So we're looking for some paper at the pin show. This is one place to find it. Hi. Awesome. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crazy Allen's Crazy Pins. Uh, give a price will be nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, what do we have in here? Oh, so uh, if, you see a box with, if you see a box with pins in it at a pin show, go and run through that box because there might be some really cool stuff in there. Yeah. Oh, it's Nick Bammy. Hey, thanks. We'll see you later. Yep. Also, oh, they got some like Omaha things back over here, actually. How about that? These are vintage y. Ooh, for sure. And then Sailor and Pilot, Pilot Inks as well. Uh, next up, we have Carrie from Kenro. Uh, they have uh, Montegraffa, Peniter, uh, Estabrook, Aurora, Otto Hoot, uh, all kinds of things. And some of these on the, on the table over here are, um, are uh, like, artist proof type things where they were like prototypes they didn't actually end up making a nice lady Schaefer for five bucks in a pin box i got a i got a, a rotring 600 with a gold nib in a pin box once for like 25 bucks and the guy wouldn't take more uh, you can you can be a spy if you want to with a 007 kit that's only five grand you got the uh, the esther books here there's carrie <laughs> there's carrie let him get finished talking to this fellow, and we'll have him have some stuff to say, probably. Yep, it's Mr. Fountain Pin Day himself. We have here uh, Estabrooks, Jays, and Camdens, and Estes. Uh, these very nice uh, pen cups and pen rolls from Estabrook now. So, uh, got these Estes down here. Some of these are solid color ones that, like, they just weren't going to make. And I'm surprised there are more of them. I thought they were kind of gone, but these, like, Sort of caramel and gold color ones are really neat. Uh, I don't know. Maybe those are joining the joining the list. I actually don't know. There's the newest, the new white one. I can't remember what that one's called. Like, I don't know, Blizzard or something like that. But this is a really beautiful white pen. Some enameled butterflies for keeping your page in your book. The Toyo pins box from Estabrook. And they've got Mandu pins. Um, he's busy as well, but. Um, well, here is uh, Bernardo, and he is the, um, the guy behind Mondu Pens. These are his, and he's also the Canadian uh, importer for Yovo. So he's got uh, probably some, yep, he's got nibs here as well, so you can buy loose nibs from him as well. I know, the brown one's really cool, right? These are Mondu. Some of these are made with Fordite, or maybe it's Cheviite, I don't know, but some like Fordite chunks uh, in resin. Because Fordite, one of the things about it is that they're not really winter white, yes, thank you. I knew it was blizzardy. Um, is that Fordite um, looks really cool and they're not really making more, but it also splinters sometimes when you try to make stuff with it. So he's found a way to like embed it in some stuff and then grind it into a pen, which is pretty neat. Uh, and some larger style pens down here. There's some more. Yovo nibs up here, you can come and find those. Excuse me, folks. So find him at yovoshop.com. A few more of those Mondu pens. Uh, and then back here, we've got uh, Bert from Bertram's Inkwell. And he's got all kinds of pens and inks down here. Still some of these vanishing points left from this, uh, from this set. This is a collection a fella had, and he needed to downsize because they were moving into a smaller place, and so he's downsizing his massive Vanishing Point collection. This was several giant notebooks at one point, but now it is uh, just two binders. So if you see something you need to have here, talk to Bert at Burns and Zinkwell. He's got good prices on these. Um, all kinds of Monteverde sets back here. Infinity Inks, Bexley's. Hey, guys. Hey, There's Bert right there. How's it going, man? Great, great. Don't let me interrupt. Just uh, showing off your stuff. Having fun, selling pens. Yeah, good, good. Uh, got, uh, got a little bit of vintage, got yeah. a little bit of used. Yeah. Is there anything you particularly want to show folks? You want to hold a microphone? Oh. Look yeah. at this. Hey, hey. Hey. Welcome to Atlanta. There you live go. from the pen show. Perfect. Nailed it. So what do I have that's really exciting here? 
That's a really good question. Where would my? We sold several of the good ones already. <laughs> so um, don't come back here. There's no point. Oh, oh, you got found one. Grayson <laughs> Teague. Oh wow. Custom titanium fountain pen. Uh, Grayson makes everything in his shop. There's nothing here that's uh, components or anything, except for maybe the nib, the yeah. fee, excuse me, uh, and the converter. Even his nibs are custom done. Oh wow. Him. Precision. That's one of the tamer pins I've seen from Grace and Ty, yeah. Exactly. Grace and Ty yeah. is very well known for uh, like um, bone and uh, petrified materials, yeah. stone and stuff like that. And just in like in incredibly intricate metal ones, too. Yeah, like off the wall, form. like robot looking pins, too. But something like this is only $695 versus uh -huh. $6,500 or $15,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's a really special pen. I'm glad to get that. Yeah. Picked up a couple of sailors here. These are nice with music nibs and stub nibs. So if you want something really wet and delicious, you're going to be right with something like that. So those are really nice. Got great prices on those as well. Yeah, very cool. But got a little bit of something for everybody. And, yeah. um, and some vintage down here at this end. A lot even. of vintage. Big collection came to the shop this week. As you know, I'm not a, a big vintage guy. But um, some really nice Schaefer's here. A lot of Schaefer's. Big Schaefer collector. Weaver's, Wherever's, Esterbrook's. I mean, the gentleman was really collecting some pens for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thanks, Bert. Appreciate thanks it, man. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, of course. Goodbye from Atlanta. Yeah, thanks. You can find him at Bertram's Inkwell online as well. And in his shop in uh, Rockville, right? Yep. Go find Bert. See you later, Bert. Uh, over here, we have um, <laughs> we have True Fay pens. There's Chris there from True Fay. Uh, True Fay brought all kinds of really awesome stuff here. Oh, you're fine. I'll go around you. Don't let me get in the way at all. No worries. You go. Yeah. Out of mind. Cool stuff. I'm just taking it all in. Yep. Is there some stuff you want to show? Oh, Chris? Yeah, I'll give you a microphone even. All right. Hey, I got a Danny Trio that we just got here. Woo. The Hummingbird. Yeah, wow. That's... The highest quality Machier that they did. Wow. So just got that in the day before the show. Wow. That's gorgeous. Enjoy the rest. That's a cool band. Yeah, you're welcome. Lots of, we kind of got the German section, Swiss, French, and then your Italian stuff's going to be on the far side over here with the Auroras, yeah. Monograppas, Peniter, Visconti. A little bit of everything. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Oh, also, uh, their, uh, their new uh, exclusive ink from Colorverse, Beam Me Up, which I just got a little bit of. A little bit of. I got a bottle of uh, recently, <laughs> so I'll have to be doing a video for that soon. It's a very fun label on there. People ask us a lot in uh, Baltimore for these two, so we managed to snag a couple right before we came here. So if anybody's oh, wow. looking for the Duofold Mosaic, we've got two of the colors here today. Woof. Those are cool. They made so many good dual folds, man. They did, yeah. Yeah. Love the Jasper Red, too. Yeah, really Jasper pretty. Red. That's that's coming through really well on camera, actually. Norman Rockwell. Yeah. Gorgeous. Number 12 on this, so one of the very first ones ever made. Neat. Great. Thanks very much. Appreciate yeah, it, Chris. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. All right. I've got... How are you doing? Oh, my boy. How are you? <laughs> We've got I'm derail pins here. Yeah. Just kind of... He's right. talking to some folks, so I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the Let's pins see. here. Oh. He's running a sale on these pins, he said. These are down to 150 and, like, 80 for the ones over there on the table. So run back here when you get to the show tomorrow. Yeah, derail. You can find him. Let me grab the sign. There we go. Derail pin, right there. You can find him online or at these pin shows. Come and chat. Find these pins that are on sale. Yes. These beautiful pins down here. I'll trade <laughs> trade places with him. There we go. Ebonite and such back here as well. Any gorgeous stuff. Oh, yeah. That's gorgeous. You want to tell us about that one? This one right here is a soapstone trim, ebonite trim with soapstone. Oh, this wow. This is an acrostone. Yeah. And I believe the name is called Demaris or Dempson. Yeah. That's beautiful. I thought it was painted. It looks like trees almost, yeah, but it's just the. It's like trees. It's just the stone it, itself. That's yes, cool. That's an actual stone. It comes. Either going to be gray or blue, light yep. blue. 
This one here happens to be a gray. Yep. But uh, we have a lot of that coming in, and we'll be having that at the uh, next show, which is Chicago, I believe. Oh, nice. Yes. Very Chicago, cool. We have about three of these on the table at Chicago. Beautiful. Come and get it because it goes fast. Yeah, yeah, that's gorgeous. I totally thought that was painted or something. No, that's the actual yeah. stone. Whew. Awesome. Thanks for showing that to us. Thank you. No I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, we're good you too. Uh, you also find a whole bunch of inks over here as well. Uh, these are also from Derail. <laughs> it's the ink lady, he says. <laughs> There's the uh, iris and monkey head nebula. That's why I was looking at those so hard. Those are really nice looking shimmers there from Colorverse's new set. Uh, they got Chukuro there as well as Andorillium and a whole mess of others back there. And then another new vendor for the show. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Doing well, thanks. Would you like to tell folks about what you've got here? Would you like to hold a microphone? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Awesome. I feel like celebrity right now. Yeah, I know, right? It's fun. Yes. Okay, this is our uh, notebook uh, business. We are new to the, um, uh, to the business. It's just like uh, all production from Turkey. Uh, we have usually have the... Um, Executive notebook, paper, uh, the notebooks, but also have some sketchbooks. These are different sizes, different color uh, colors, and then the uh, cover. We are just like a hard cover, flexible cover. Some leather one over here, and then a linen one. So oh, yeah. we are just like kind of confident with the quality of the paper. No bleeding on the back. And oh yeah, we were trying this out over uh, exactly. over my table. Yes. This is the first thing I bought at the show. Actually, was one of these because, yes. I mean, twelve dollars is a very yeah. inexpensive uh, exactly. notebook, and these papers are really nice. Yeah, these are very good papers, and then we have the separation to make some uh, taking notes, uh, and then. Yeah. And uh, you can get a pencil that will grow into a plant eventually. Exactly. You can plant a plant. <laughs> This those... is like a small promotion for the different things. Yeah, no, this is really great. Um, where can people find you online? Uh, we have our own uh, website. You can just like salart.com. Uh, great. We can also, uh, you can find us at uh, Amazon. Oh, okay. Yeah, we sell uh, at Amazon too or our own website. All right, great. Well, thank you yes. very much. Thank you so much Thanks for this for... opportunity. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Take care. Thank you, you too. So find Salard there. Oh, any two notebooks, 10% off. Any three, 20% off. So go ahead and grab some of those while you're here. Thank you. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Hey, how's it going, Jacqueline? Well, thanks. How are you doing, Mike? I mean, pretty good. Do you want to talk to people about pilot stuff? I love pilot stuff. Would you like to hold a microphone? Oh, my gosh, really? Yeah. Now I feel really nervous. <laughs> no, no, just very official. You're super cool now. Um, what would you like to know? I don't know. You're like, the you one that's got... you want to see anything? Yeah, you're behind the table. What's new and cool? Am I holding this up? Yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, no, perfect. Is it karaoke hour? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so <laughs> I personally feel like our SE collections have been overshadowed. We were launching a lot of things at the same time, and they didn't get enough love. They are stunning pens. So right now, I am trying to share with the world yeah. how gorgeous these pens are. Yeah, tell us about these SE pens. Like, what is make them? What is it that makes them different from the regular ones? These are Italian resin poured custom heritage SEs, right? Yeah. So each one is completely unique. If you see, you like the orange one, you will never find the same marbling pattern on any other of that same pen. It has a number five nib. They're very lightweight. They really are. Yeah. They're stunning. Yeah. And if you really like the pattern, but let's say you don't like a capped pen, we also have them in the Vanishing Point line. Capped and retractable. And they're the the SE Vanishing Point ones are lighter than the regular Vanishing Point, right? Oh, do you think so? I thought they were. No? Like officially, they are? <laughs> Wait, see, I, I could have sworn they were. Yeah, yeah, this is way lighter than the regular Vanishing do Point, isn't so? it? Hold on, let me... I don't know. I'm bad with measurements. I'm bad with weights. I don't know. It feels like it. I don't know. Here, uh, we've got Audrey who just snuck up on me. Here, you can hold that one and, and then this one. So that's a decimo and oh, it's a an decimo. SE. Oh, now try, okay. swap out the decimo for this one. This one feels heavy. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. I, every time not I pick, very much, but just a little bit. Yeah, every time I pick up the SE, I'm like, it's it's a lot lighter. I mean, it seems to me, but yeah. Yeah, this one's heavy. Like, if you hold it like from the. Like, okay, hold, I, I can feel it. A little bit. I can yeah. feel a little bit. Yeah, so if you think the vanishing point's a little bit too heavy, and you wish it was a little bit lighter, and yeah. maybe like I don't know, a really pretty swirly resin. Yes, this Find one these. I think is my favorite. It makes me want to go to the Bahamas. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I also love the blue one too a lot. More decimal really colors. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> I say that every time and I know you hate this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> America wants more decimal colors. <laughs> you Audrey didn't is begging like for more decimal yeah. colors. These two that I just released. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even gonna call them colors because it's white and gray. <laughs> they're, they're, they're you know what? I actually really like that white one. I think it's that's really classy. It's classy. I, I'm yeah. really into a white pen these days, and I don't know yes. why, but I am. Um, but I do appreciate more. One more is great. So I haven't shared this news publicly. Well, this is public. This is public. Well, don't, don't get fired. But this is an exclusive. No. This is an exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> We will be bringing in the clear 823. Oh, nice. In CUS and the signature nib in the amber smoke and clear. Oh, very cool. Do you have any of the signature nibs here? Actually, Ike brought his personal signature nib. Do you want to try it? I mean, I'd love to later, but if Aki wants to like show us how it works, that'd be awesome. I bought a oh, no, you do, pen Aki. for, for $25. That's your pen. Cool. It's literally this big. Oh, you got one of the tiny ones? Yeah. Nice. Okay, Sandra so had one of them, too. Signature nib is broader than abroad. It's almost yep. kind of like a course. I got it. It's meant for a vibrant signature. It's going to yep. have a little slight line variation in it. Here, I'm going to give this to you. We don't sell anything here. Should I write my name? We're just sure, you can write whatever you like. Can I write your name? Okay. So it's just a little, it's very wet, it's a wet nib. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Small line variation. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's really pretty. Really neat. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Aki. I appreciate it. it. <laughs> now we're all passing around his pen. <laughs> Thanks for letting us borrow your pen. Okay, well, let's uh, show this here. If I can get around the side. And this is coming in the 823, you said? It's yeah. Very yeah this awesome. Yep, 823. Woo. Even after it's sitting there. Yeah, it's yeah. very wet. Yeah, the 823 is one of my very favorite pens. So. Our. All right, great. I guess I have to get another one. So. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Our limited edition Ukrai will be out in June as well. Cool. That'll be fun. Great. Um, I have a couple things up my sleeve for September. Mm hmm. That's a good month. And it's my I, birthday, I'm just saying. If you want to release it for my birthday, that's great. I have <laughs> some exciting other things that I literally can't share any Awesome, don't. On. No, don't get no. in trouble. Um, but this is kind of the boss. This year, like, things are happening. Yeah. Big, big things that have never happened in the United States before for a pilot are happening this year. There you go. And uh, this year's limited edition vanishing point was a PCA design, so. Oh, interesting. Yeah. We'll be, cool. I feel like those are always more vibrant, yeah. a little different. Yeah. So, Neat. Well, thank you very much. Things from Pilot this year. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, We're looking forward so to it. Thanks, Jacqueline. Yeah. We'll see you later. Hi, everyone. <laughs> How's it going, Odd? I should go back to work. Oh, okay. But I did buy a pen. You yep. should pay for it because I don't have cash. Oh, you didn't pay him for it? Oh, that's no. why she was telling me. That is why I was telling you. Oh, you're I telling said, me I owe Kirk money. Okay, that's His fine. wife, too. I mean, yeah, yeah, she holds fine. it behind. Okay. So, you know. Okay. Oh, she's got it back there still. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I'll do that. Yeah. It's, it's... No, Sandra showed us hers. Yeah. Yeah. I got a pink one. Yeah. Carol in the chat said she had one like the cap won't stay on it, like on the back. She's like, I can't post it, but... We'll see. I think it's cute enough to have just by itself anyway, so. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's like Crocs. They're so stupid, but I love it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right, folks. That's done? Audrey. No, well, I still got to do the, the center of this room, so I got to get going. You got to go. I know. Bye so. Bye. <laughs> All right. So there's Audrey. She's like, by the way, you owe people money, and they have pens. So here you'll find... This big old flexi nib uh, or a flexi balloon here. Is it possible to rig that up and fire it remotely? Was that this? Yeah. Well, I'm doing a live stream, so not really. No, no, no but I'm talking in regular. Oh. Sometimes you want to take a picture yourself. Oh yeah, you can do that, I think. Uh 
how do you fire it remotely? I don't know. I'll show you tomorrow. Sound good? Well, could you tell me how to do it? Oh, uh, I'd have to figure it out. I think it can be done, but like, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're doing a little tech support live here on uh, on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I haven't um, I haven't been playing with that, but I think you can. I think there's a timer. Because you know most cameras have a time release. Yeah. You press a button, and it gives you ten seconds. So like run into the frame. Yeah, you have yeah. to put on a tripod. Then. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Uh, so you find like all kinds of Are you cool. A YouTube video. Uh, we're doing a little live YouTube, showing people around the show, so they know where to find things. Right there. We're going to check out all of these <laughs> prices lower right there. I thought Mom Black was going to be here. I don't know. You know, they're cutting dealers out. Oh, is that right? No, it's too bad. I hadn't heard. All right. <laughs> One of the biggest companies in the country told me. Oh, interesting. You hear a fountain pen hospital? Oh, yeah. They told me they cut them out. Huh. Weird. Well. It's a heck of a. They had orders for a bunch of 149s. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, I'll tell them about it when I see Mont Blanc next. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I do not have pull with Mont Blanc. This is, uh, this is, these are Tom's tables here. The Pen Man, you can find him online and also at all these pin shows. And this beautiful Pelican Cambon that I've been uh, carrying around in my pocket here lately. Uh, a bunch of Platinums here, including some Maquiers, and even um, uh, one of these, uh, the, the Sorelli Vets. I cannot remember the name of this, but I love this. This is engraved and then filled with like silver powder and then lacquered over. Uh, really a beautiful pen there. I know, that Pelican is super good. How you doing, sir? Some more pelicans here. Tom is a pelican dealer and a massive pelican uh, uh, pelican collector. I kind of have think he became a pelican dealer so he'd get more pelicans, but he won't admit that. There's Tom Bailey himself hanging out behind here. You can find the pin man here. His, his shirt, uh, my shirt's looking a lot like his table here. So uh, I'm a little more colorful. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yours is very artistic though. So it's uh, artistic, it has character. Ten years, to get this thing. ten years, you say? Wow. I feel like you could do this more quickly. There's some kids in the other room who'll help you out with it. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> we have a Florida fountain pen. How's it going, folks? I'm doing great. You want to tell people about what you've got going on here? Would you like the microphone? Okay. All right. There you go. We're official. We're having a good time. The Atlanta Pen Show has always been good to us. We. Uh, yeah. Nice. And our show, of course, is coming in September. Yep. It'll be our third year. We're looking forward to that. We're making some special plans and having a good time. Yep. Uh, but we're having a great time here. We've sold a pretty good amount of pens. We're selling Visconti, uh, Benus, uh, Pilot, of course, and uh, a little bit of a few varied things, some Robert Oster Inc. and some Pilot of Rosh uh, It's been a great show already. Very nice. We're having a good time. Yeah. Thank you for having us in Atlanta. Yeah, of course. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it, man. So here's some of the other stuff they have on the table there. And just big bins of Robert Oster ink of all kinds. Some Irish Zuku's. And of course, uh, if you're in the uh, if you're in the Orlando area in September, go and check out the Pin Show. See you guys. Oh, what are these? Oh yeah, so you can see what those uh, what all those inks look like. Very nice. Yeah, super helpful. Great. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. Take care. All right. Uh, oh, and down here. So uh, you may remember from the DC Pen Show. Oh, okay, cool. Just making sure I wasn't getting feels away. You may remember from the DC Pen Show that uh, there were a bunch of pens that uh, got found, and uh, there are a few left. Would you like to tell folks about them? Yes, I'd be glad. Would you to. like to hold a microphone? Sure. Okay. Yeah. What was neat about this was these pins we didn't know existed until uh, about years ago. Eight years ago, we were getting ready to sell our building and knew these boxes were up. And did some research on them, found out they were actually made between 1891 and 1895 by Mr. Warren. And then he skipped town, but he left the pins in the box. And so about eight years ago, we got them down, and this is what we found inside. They look yeah. brand new. They write as well today as they did in 1891, which makes it a sort of a neat deal of old new stock. 
<laughs> Very old new stock. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. So this is these you just found in a building that you had? Yes. We bought the building in 1973, and these boxes were up in the second story. And actually, my wife was a soda jerk in that building underneath it, and uh, she had Girl Scouts in the room right in front of me. Huh. And uh, we bought the building in 1973, and then uh, eight years ago, we were to sell the building, so I got the boxes down, and this is what was inside. You hadn't looked in the boxes? No. We hadn't paid attention to them in all those years. No. Wow. So, that's uh, that's pretty cool. We, did a little, we didn't know what a nib was when we put the boxes down. Oh. So our local historic society helped us an awful lot. And actually other pin people have helped us an awful lot on the research of the nibs. They're Estabrook nibs and they're good quality nibs. They have no rust on them or anything. So that's been a big help to us too. Yeah. But this bit have been a fun hobby. So. Yeah, that sounds great. Yes. Well, Thank thanks for chatting with us, Dan. Thanks for stopping. Of course. If you want to grab a three pack of these really cool pens, they just like found in a box. That is an awesome story. There are definitely some left. Thanks very much, folks. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Such a fun story. I had missed the part where it was like their building. Uh, there are some more pens, I think, coming out of a private collection here, including desk pens, uh, fountain pen sets. This is like actually a very cool looking vanishing point here. Some, it's like some uh, some pencils. I mean, these pencils were all the rage when I was in like high school and college. Uh, those pens and pencil sets were like what you got as a gift for graduation and that sort of thing. I know, right? Pretty interesting. I'm not like a dip pen guy, but I'm kind of tempted to get those just to be like, oh, let me tell you the story about these. So, oh, look at this telephone. This is what telephones look like uh, in the house I grew up in. Uh, if my sister ever watches this, I don't know actually if she would know if she would remember, but like we had black phones like this, rotary dial phones. Ours didn't have a pin on it, but that is fun. Some, well, a little bit of everything actually here in the vintage way. We are almost done. We've got like another aisle to go and then uh, that'll be it for this show. I think I must have, I think I timed this pretty okay. What do we got here? Oh, I got like 10 minutes left. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> and here we have uh, all kinds of things here. It's like odds and ends. Let me scooch past you. Oh, you're good. There's some beautiful uh, vintage here as well. Some nice overlays. I haven't seen too many overlays in the room yet. I'm going to check those out. Pencils and pens. Yeah. Howdy. Show a little live tour on YouTube, showing people what's at the pen show. Uh, very good. Uh, <laughs> you, you're gonna put it on the. Uh, you're gonna put it on the. Uh, I've got a blank. Uh, Just on YouTube. Yep, it's gonna be on YouTube. Okay. I'll, yep. I'll, I'll, I normally do it for a Columbus show myself. So. Oh, very nice. Here we go. Yeah, cool. I'll come back and give you a card later on. Okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks, Larry. Uh, also, yeah, check out some like. Beautiful little uh, vanishing point, or uh, vanishing point, uh, Mont Blanc snake pin hidden in there. Oh man, so this is actually, um, this is a Wall Eversharp Skyliner 50. And uh, this is, this is a pin set that I bought, I want to say at like my, I don't know, second or third DC show whenever Wall Eversharp started. And uh, this is, I think, the first thing I ever got a little bit of a discount on as a uh, pin like blogger, uh, which is, <laughs> like always kind of uh, brings back nostalgia, but it comes with this toy car. I have this exact set. So uh, how fun is that? Should I look up phone numbers? I don't know, man. Uh, there are even more. This is Harold's bright idea. Howdy. <laughs> it's cool. I'm running out of time. We have... Uh, Share the wealth table. Ah, so this is where the share, share the wealth table is. I actually hadn't found this yet, but if you come here into the big room directly opposite the doors, um, if you have pens, inks, paper, that kind of stuff that you uh, uh, need to pass on to another home, and uh, maybe like uh, people are starting out, uh, bring it here to the share the wealth table, and folks can come and find some. So if you find something you like here, you can take it home. Do be nice and leave stuff for other folks, but uh, if you have cool stuff that you would like to pass on, we're gonna be here and just set it on this table. 
there you go. So then by the Southeast Pen Collectors Club. You can also join the club if you are local by coming to this here table and signing up. Thanks, folks. Yes, please sign up. Yeah, sign up if you're local. Yeah. And then uh, right down here. Oh, man, we got, uh, I don't know, you need a, you need a Bowie knife? Because, holy smokes. Um, <laughs> a little bit of everything here. Some really nice old folders there. Some coins, even. Oh, these weren't here earlier, I'd swear. Um, some no nonsense still in the package. It has a knife. Um, a little bit of everything in here. Uh, like I said, if you see a box that says $5 and up, go and rifle through that box. It's going to have something cool in it for sure. Uh, it's like some older Bexleys here. From uh, before the sale of the company. I love those Bexley pens. We got Schaefer's of all kinds here. Putting some really nice sets and such. Visconti Van Gogh's. These are not sold online. These are the folks' collections. There. All right. Um, oh, I also promised I would go back to Stacy Robinson. So let's uh, head back to the other side of the uh, other side of the show. But that's um, that's kind of it. So that is the Atlanta Pin Show. Uh, it's been a fun show. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, good. It's a little, uh, little live show inception. She's watching it live there. So let's go look in the other room and uh, see uh, Stacy Robinson right quick. Uh, see if he's got his stuff out because he's always got some cool stuff and he's not here until usually late on Fridays, so I often miss him. Sometimes only on Saturday. Um, he, he can't get here for Friday most of the time due to work stuff. So, Helen Butt in here. Oh, no, he doesn't have stuff set up, so uh, that's all right. You can find Stacy Robinson Studios online. Uh, but he doesn't have the stuff set out yet. He'd probably just have to pick it up if he had, so I get it. All right, folks. Whew. Uh, two hours for the Atlanta Pin Show. I think that's not too bad, actually. I'm glad we got to talk to people. The new mic is great. Good. I'm, I hope that uh, it helped out with the audio. Uh, I'm going to keep working on that setup, but this is a little bit of a tester, so, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get that dialed in. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us. Come to the Atlanta Pin Show if you're in the area. Otherwise, you know, if you saw something on the table that you'd like to get, go ahead and uh, contact folks. They love hearing that sort of thing. And if you saw stuff on the stream, tell people you saw it on the stream because they love to hear that. And they always come up to me and they're like, hey, I, you know, somebody said, uh, you know, came up and said, hey, we did the, we saw you on the stream or whatever. And it's great. So, start at noon for DC. I got to figure out something for DC because it's massive. So, uh, anyway. Good to see y'all. I will see y'all back on Twitch on Tuesday and Thursday and uh, for our regular live show on YouTube on, uh, on Fridays. So until next time, think about what you put out in the world and make it a better place. And uh, we'll see you later. Bra, hey, everybody.